Let's take a look at a pen which was a milestone in the evolution of the fountain pen. In this case, this is the Mont Blanc 254. The numbering system, you can see a video on the Mont Blanc numbering system, the number 2 signals, this is the medium of the line, the, the five signals, it's a fountain pen, and the four, 254 signals that the nib size is number four, which is a medium sized nib. The smaller nibs are Number two, the normal size is number four, number six, and number nine, like in the Meisterstück today, the biggest one is the 149. In this case, the medium of the it's it's a medium of the line fountain pen, and it's a rather important pen because for the first time we have a snap-on cap for a Mont Blanc pen, but the most important part is the wing nib. The wing nib is a really flat fountain pen nib, which was a novum at this time. We are speaking of the year 1950. For in this year, the, or a little bit before that, the Mont Blanc engineers invented the wing nib. This is the first pen which came with the wing nib. Today, Mont Blanc doesn't make pens with the wing nib anymore. This is a wing nib today is the standard for a uh, student or for an in entry level pen it's much cheaper to make than a normal fountain pen nib but in these days it was a new invention the nice part of the wing nib is that that it's very smooth to write with the the con of this pen is it's medium flex but it doesn't spread the tines so you don't have that much of a line variation but the reason they invented it was the tines never leave a, 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 never leave much space between the ink feet and the nib so the ink flow is always very very good this was the reason be, before they had a lot of complaints because if you have a very flexible nib which opens the the tines very much. The ink flow is always a, a problem. You have this what, what's called railroading. You have these two lines but no ink flow in between. So the Mont Blanc engineers were looking for a way to solve this problem and they came up with a wing nib. This pen was made from 1954 to, to 1959. Later, Mont Blanc changed the design of the front end of the pen. The bad part of the wing nib is that it's rather ugly, so they covered the nib in the 
next series of fountain pens. You still have the same wing nib, but you only see one third of it. So this is the Mont Blanc 254. There were three models, the small one, the 252, this the medium size, the 254, and they made a larger model, the 256. We are, we are going to take a look from an other camera angle to get into the details. Now let's take a look at this pen from a shorter distance for the year 54. This was quite a modern pen and you can see this has a B nib and here we see the model number 254. Here you can see this is the mechanism for the filling system. And this was a this was the first Mont Blanc pen with a with this kind of mechanism that you didn't have the threads. And another first the wing nib. This is a fourteen carat wing nib. Here you can see the ink window and this is one of the first pens in this series. We have the Mont Blanc main engraved into the cap and not into the cap ring which they did later on. And here we got the Mont Blanc emblem. Now let's see how this pen reacts to the writing hand without pressure, with pressure. This is a semi-flex nib. 